what's going on guys welcome back to this youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to set up tailwind css with react js in this video we are going to use the create react app so head over to tailwindcss.com and click on get started and here you'll see this tab layout click on this framework guides and scroll down until you see create react app and here is the installation guide so what we need to do is we need to open up uh, a terminal window if uh, you are on mac if you're on windows open the command shell so i'm going to use terminal because i'm on mac and then i'll just copy this command from here and i'm going to paste it right here i'm going to remove this my dash project because this is the name of the project in my case i want to name it tailwind css test hit enter and as you can see it's creating a new react app let it finish as you can see, the project is set up on my local machine and hopefully it's set up on yours as well. Now we are going to CD into the project, which is in my case, Tailwind CSS test. In your case, it might be something else. And in here, what we need to do is we need to run a few commands. So the first one is to install the Tailwind CSS. So I'll say npm install dash D Tailwind CSS. Basically this command right here. I'll hit enter. And as you can see, the Tailwind CSS has been installed. Now I also need to run npx Tailwind CSS in it. This will initialize the Tailwind CSS. So as you can see, tailwind.config.js file was created in our project. In order for us to see this file, we need to open our project in a text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use any other text editor that you like. But with Visual Studio Code, what I can do is I can simply say code then dot hit enter and the project is opened up in my uh, visual studio code in your case if you are not able to do this what you can do is you can open your text editor then head over to the project folder and open it up in your text editor now let's open the tailwind.config.js file so this is what you see in this file and let's come down here and as you can see it's saying configure your template paths add the paths to all of your template files in tailwind.config.js file. So let's just grab this content from here, go back and replace this content with what we just copied. Save the file and go back to the installation guide. Now we need to copy this uh, code from here and we need to add it to .src slash index.css file. So let's do that. Go back, open src folder. Here is the index.css file and I'm going to paste it right here and save the file. After that, we can simply npm run start. So let's just npm run start, hit enter, and the project is up and running. As you can see, this is the basic React app, but we want to see if the Tailwind CSS was installed. So go to the app.js file. I'm going to remove all of this and replace it with an h1 just like this. Now, in order to test uh, if the Tailwind CSS was installed, what we can do is we can give it a class name, let's say text red 500, which is a Tailwind CSS class. So save the file, go back. You can see the color of the React app is red, which means that the Tailwind CSS is successfully installed. So this is it. Do subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. And guys, please like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.